This is James Fox with another video tutorial for QuickBooks Pro 2013. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to pay the bill for the inventory that you have received. Now, in Lesson 8-6, I showed you how to create a bill for the inventory that was delivered to your company. So now it's time to pay the invoice that you received from the vendor. So to pay the bill, click the Pay Bills icon on the QuickBooks homepage or you can click on the vendors menu then click pay bills now here is the list of bills that are in the queue to be paid if you need to filter the list by the vendor name you can click the drop down arrow in the filter by field after you select a vendor the list can be sorted by the due date discount date vendor or the amount due. Now these filtering options are not mandatory. You do not have to filter or sort. You can simply place a check mark next to the bill that you want to pay. So I'm going to place a check mark next to the bill that was created in the previous lesson. Now there are no discounts or credits that need to be applied for this bill. We're going to cover that in another lesson. At the very bottom left, you'll see a date field make sure you enter today's date because that date will be printed on the check if you are printing checks for the bills so enter in today's date now select the payment method from the method drop down menu for this example i'm going to select check now the checks are to be printed so i'm going to select to be printed also make sure that if your company uses more than one bank account make sure you select the correct bank in the account field now once you have finished selecting all of your bills to be paid, click Pay Selected Bills on the bottom right. After you click Pay Selected Bills, a payment summary will appear. This payment summary will consist of the due date, the vendor, and the total amount to be paid to the vendor. If you forgot to add a bill to this list, click the Pay More Bills button at the bottom left and it will bring you back to the previous screen that we just saw. If you are ready to pay the bills and print the checks, click Print Checks. Now you will see the Select checks to print dialog box once again make sure that you select the proper bank account from the bank account drop down list in the first check number field you're going to enter in the next check number that's going to be used to print the checks so enter in that number in the first check number field now at the bottom part of this dialog box you're going to see a date column payee column and the amount column on the far left Make sure that there is a check mark next to the check that is to be printed. If you do not want to print a particular check, you can deselect it by removing the check mark. Once you have selected all of the checks to be printed, click OK on the right. Now you will see the Print Checks dialog box. At the bottom left, you'll see Check Style. Make sure you choose the proper check style. The options are Voucher, Standard, and Wallet you must determine which check style you are using and select that check style from this list. Now once you have selected the appropriate printer, click print and your checks should be printing. If for some reason a check did not print properly, place a check mark in the reprint column here next to the check that did not print properly and then click OK. If all checks printed properly, do not place any check marks in the reprint column. Simply click OK, review your checks, and you are done. And that's how you pay the vendor bills by using a check. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Once again, my name is James Fox, and I'll see you next time.